hello everyone uh, so here we have a force measurement dynamometer the dynamometer is uh, used for measuring the cutting forces during machining so we can see uh, we have uh, this dynamometer having three components the one is known as uh, sensor or transducer the second part is LED display and the another one is the wires connecting these two so this is the LED display here we can see this LED display is showing X force by force and Z force so this is actually the three components of the cutting force in three perpendicular directions now we can see here the tool cutting tool is fixed at the tool holder in the transducer and the three terminals of the wire is connected with the three ports of this transducer named as X by and Z which will give us uh, X component of the force by component of the force and Z component of the force and also you can see here at this point that the Z direction is shown as towards the to, to it's in the in the upward direction now this is the whole setup on the lathe machine so we can see this transducer is fixed on the tool post okay so in this uh, this hole actually uh, uh, is used for fixing on the tool post so it is inserted inside the uh, the screw and then it is tightened now <coughs> this transducer is connected with the LED display so we will uh, see one video uh, which here is the link given at the bottom you can see this is the link for the video so how this is uh, attached on the lathe and how we can measure the forces so see here uh, this is how it is set over the tool post although this uh, transducer is uh, a different one different type of transducer but still the application is same so uh, this is how it is set and it is balanced so that it will be it should be completely horizontal so for that you need to put some uh, support to make it horizontal completely so that it should not have any deflection while uh, taking the measurement clear once it is set up then we adjust the we adjust the uh, zero at the LED display so the forces which are shown at the LED display uh, will be adjusted as zero. So let's uh, see here. So right now it is showing three one, but there is no cutting happening. So there is no load, but it is having some offset. So this will be made as zero. Let's proceed. Once it is uh, made zero, then we go for actual turning operation. So here the turning is happening. You can see the measurement of the forces. You can see this is maximum force 14, 15. This is the second maximum, and this is the least one. So the maximum is Fz, second one is Fx, and third one is F1. It may change 
इतने भारी so we have the um, the table we obtained after the experiment this uh, table is actually taken from a journal paper okay so just see the variation of forces with cutting a speed feed and depth of cut so three uh, things we will see here is the depth of cut put here feed and here is the speed at the end and these are the forces cutting forces fz feed force fx fy is not considered because it is very less so let's see here the depth of cut is uh, varied from 0.5 mm to 2.5 mm and uh, <clears throat> the, there are three feed used here one is 0 0.0781 another one is 0 0.046 and, and the third one is 0 0.0647 and the speed there are two speeds 2 rpm 340 rpm and 280 rpm the values are taken so as we can see the depth of cut is increasing keeping the feed constant we are seeing the fj is increasing continuously similarly the feed force is also increasing continuously now we can compare the speed with the speed what is happening so with the speed uh, let's suppose uh, you take this 280 and 340 uh, here is the 1 mm depth of cut so at 1 mm depth of cut in case of 340 the force is 30 30 kg and at 280 rpm the force is 42 that means with increase in rpm the force decreases because of decrease in friction now what is the effect of feed on cutting forces so let's say there are two uh, speeds constant uh, speeds depth of cut constant one and one here so we can see this feed is more than this feed follow the cursor feed is more than this feed so see the corresponding with lesser feed the force is 32 with more feed the force is 30 so it is almost equal and you add two feed, uh, depth of cut if it is 2 mm the force is 55 and here it is 52 so almost uh, there is very very less variation in the cutting force so this is the overall conclusion of the force measurement during machining operation thank you very much